Welcome back to Activity 2.2, Programming with Procedures. Today we're going to be working with creating procedures within our Charades Game app to reduce the amount of redundant code. The three procedures we're going to be working with today is resetting your timer, decrementing the score, and incrementing your score as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at our starter code in MIT App Inventor. Here what you'll notice is that our procedures that we're going to be creating are going to limit how many times a piece of code is repeated throughout the program. So we're going to start off by creating our reset timer procedure. And in order to do that, we're going to go to our procedure drawer and we're going to drag in this to procedure do block. What we'll want to do with that is give that a name and we're going to call this reset timer. And we're going to do this using what we call camel case. Once you give your procedure a name in the procedure drawer, you will notice that you can now call that procedure at any time. When calling that procedure, it will do anything that is within that procedure block. So we need to put our code in that block that we want it to be able to do. In this case, what we want this reset timer procedure to do is when it is called, we want to be able to set the global time left to 30 seconds. And we also want to set the time left labels text to join the time in seconds plus the global time left variable. We will also want to set our clock timer enabled to false. So an easy way to create this procedure is we can actually take this entire block of code and drop it into that reset timer procedure. From there, we're going to be able to go ahead and simply call that procedure and place that call block when the reset timer button is clicked. Now that we've created our procedure, let's look for any redundant code within our program to see if we can replace that with our call reset timer. The next place you will see this redundant code is if we take a look in this when reset game button is clicked. What we'll notice here is we are repeating that code down in the bottom half of the event handler. What we can do with that is simply pull that block of code out and get rid of it. And we're going to go ahead and replace that with our call reset timer. What we've done here is created a procedure or an abstraction that will hide unnecessary information for the user to be able to read. All the user needs to know is when they hit the reset timer button, it's going to reset our time back to 30 seconds. So we've created a procedure that's going to make it easier for us to program our app moving forward. Now the next procedure that we're going to look at creating is decrementing our score. So we're going to follow the same rules we did in order to create our reset timer. We're going to go to our procedure drawer, drag out a two procedure do block, and we're going to go ahead and rename that decrement score. Now what we're looking at doing here is we're going to decrement or take a point away when either the skip button is hit or if the clock timer reaches zero. So here you'll see that we have two places where we're going to need to subtract a point. And when that happens, we're going to set the global score to get whatever the global score is and then subtract one from it. We will also set our score label text to join the number of correct guesses and the get the global score. So we're going to go ahead and take everything out of that skip button and drag it and add it in. Now that we've created our decrement score procedure, let's go to our procedure drawer and we're going to go ahead and call that decrement score. Now when that skip button is clicked, it will still decrement our score. But again, we have created that procedure that makes it easier for the user to see. The other place we're going to look at calling that decrement score is when our clock timer event handler occurs. And here what we're looking at is up at the top, we are looking at the time. But then down in this if statement, we have if the global time equals zero, we're going to call the player one to start. And then we're going to get the global score to get the global score, subtract one. And then there's your score label text being joined with the number of correct guesses and the global score. We're going to go ahead and grab that call decrement score and drag that in. I'm going to place that right under the call player one start. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and slowly remove my set global score. I can right click and I'm going to go ahead and delete those four blocks and then select delete. And then I'm going to set 
score, label, text, and right click and disable or delete them as well. Now here you have created two procedures to reduce the amount of redundant code. The last procedure we're going to look at creating is incrementing the score. Now at this time we don't have a need to increment the score because we have not gotten to the part where we're going to add the accelerometer or the on shake in order to get a correct response. But while we're talking about procedures, let's go ahead and just create that procedure so that we have it ready for a later time. Let's go to our procedure drawer, grab your two procedure block again, and we're going to go ahead and call this increment score. Once you name that block, we're going to go ahead and duplicate my decrement score event handler. This is going to make it easy to grab multiple blocks or multiple lines of code. I'm going to grab that whole set score and score label and I'm going to get rid of the decrement score event handler. Now I'm going to go ahead and drop that into my increment score. Now what you'll notice here is if I call that increment score at this time, it's still going to subtract a point. We want to do the opposite. We want to be able to add a point here. So I'm going to go ahead and switch my subtraction block out with an addition block. And from there, I'm going to drop my global score in and I'm going to drop my number one in. I can get rid of my subtraction. And then from there, I'm going to drop that back in. So what you've now created is an increment score procedure that when we get to having to add points, we can simply go to our procedures and call that increment score. So here you have three different procedures that can be used within your charades game app to help reduce the amount of redundant code.